This is a sad, sad day, ladies and gentlemen, in my entire life. My kid, Zachary, has gone against my wishes. He's gone against my better judgment. And he has bought himself a clapped out, ricer, piece of junk car that I'm going to have to fix for him eventually and I'm very disturbed by this ladies and gentlemen I'm very very disturbed by this I'm very upset very angry as you can see in my facial expressions I just wish this kid would listen to me but before we get started guys I'm gonna tell you a little story <laughs> actually Zach's watching me right now I am in front of this piece of junk car it's not a piece of junk it's my baby <laughs> and um, so my first car was a 1987 Chevy Celebrity four-door and it was a piece of junk and I was given to me for free I was working at a newspaper place in uh, Lancaster and my manager knew I needed a car and she gave me the car for free and uh, all I had to do was pay for the registration and everything and put insurance on it and I drove that thing for a couple of years or maybe a year or two and I really liked it it was a great car and obviously I've moved up, moved up, but uh, <clears throat> I wasn't able to, to buy a brand new car when I was young because uh, my family was broke. I was broke. We didn't have money. We didn't even have a car growing up. Um, I came a long, long way from where I came from. And I'm, I'm very proud and very humbled by that. And uh, a car came up for Zach here and he's 15 now. He's getting ready to turn 16 here in June. And uh, a buddy of mine actually had this car for sale, dirt cheap, very, very dirt cheap. And Zach had money. So he decided he wanted it after I showed him some pictures. And it does have some issues with it that we got to address. We're going to talk about that in this video. But uh, but he's happy with the car. I'm okay with the car. It needs, needs a little bit of work, which ain't not big of a deal. Uh, might actually need an engine as well. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I've looked up prices for an engine. It's not that expensive. And... It wouldn't be a bad deal to, to put an engine in this car and fix it up and you know, stuff like that. So I guess we're going to unveil my kid's clapped out piece of junk ship box. He's laughing. He's laughing. God, unbelievable. Here we go, guys. Here we go. It's a sharky. <laughs> a freaking 2006 Hyundai Tipperon with Hyundai. with Hyundai whatever Hyundai with the 2.7 liter V6 engine and, and there's one very special thing about this shipbox piece of junk we're gonna show you it right now it's a man car it's a five-speed manual so yeah this car is a five-speed manual and of course Zach doesn't know how to fucking drive oh. a five-speed or a manual at all so i'm gonna have to teach him how to do that it's gonna be an adventure it's gonna be an adventure I'm happy. but i do have one thing to tell you this is a gt limited edition um hyundai uh tiburon tiburon tucson well tucson is just the badging it has like badging on it and stuff it's, uh, it's the korean yeah like word. the korean version the Tusani or oh, wait, whatever. Show them, show them the best part. Show them the best part. Oh, so we do have a little bit of damage we got to take no, no, care no, of. Not that, not that best part. We're oh, yeah. This, best part. this is his. This is this is the best sticker that everybody should have. Oh yeah. That's that's actually a real good thumbnail. Like stand right there. Here, hold on. <laughs> uh, move over a little bit so the rusty bumpers out of the way. Ah, oh, you can't even see it. That's uh, funny. Never mind. Thumbnail's not happening, guys. But yeah, financial mistake is a pretty uh, pretty good sticker. We're deciding to leave that sticker on because he's going to realize just how much of a financial mistake he had. There's nothing here. He's covering that up now. <laughs> so <laughs> so it does. Bumper damage. The bumper's falling off. Zip ties. Um, which isn't a big deal. We're just going to go ahead and get a new bumper for it. And the fender is rusted. But the guy that There's sold him, coming, yeah. yeah, the guy that sold him the car has a, another bumper out of a junkyard for it. He just never put it on. Non-rusted. Has a few scratches on it. No fender, big deal. Oh, I'm sorry. Fender. Yes, Fender. The, he has a new Fender. No scratches or any, or has a few scratches on it. This is lowered on what kind of springs? It's on Raceland coilovers. Raceland coilovers, which we're debating. No, I mean, we're me. <laughs> no, we're not. we're not debating anything. 
He wants to, what do you want to raise it up? Like, I want to raise it up like a half an inch. That way I don't scrape as much, but I like the lowered look. Yeah, I mean, we're going to raise it up a little bit because it is really low. It's really kind of gawky looking. And it does have aftermarket wheels on it as well. I don't know what kind of wheels these are. If anybody in the in this video that's watching this video knows, do me a favor, comment below. And uh, let me know what wheels they are because yeah. I don't know what wheels they well, we are. Got, we got the moonroof. It's got a full moonroof. Um, missing a door handle on that side. But the interior is actually i'm not gonna lie the interior is in very very good shape guys um it has the red stitching and everything it does need a good shampooing on the sh seats and everything but leather seats freaking like i said five speed manual has a cd player has a subwoofer in the back That's very freaking nice yeah it's it's actually very very nice looking like i said moonroof um just needs some tlc on the inside and, and that's it not a big deal not a big deal at all but all in all for the $250 that Zach spent on this car, and it was his money, like not mine, it was his $250. It's not a bad little car. Um, the one big, big problem with this thing- Is that these don't work and we have to use a crowbar? Is that the, the this, that's not the big problem. The engine has blown head gaskets or a head gasket. They're very, very bad. Um, it yeah, does start to cool. overheat. The nice thing about this is these 2.7 V6 engines are extremely cheap to come by very very cheap to come by we are going to be welcoming sponsors for this car if oh, anybody yes. if anybody wants to help out and sponsor this that car and maybe set an engine or maybe uh other parts that they might have for one of these things for him because obviously he's a, he's a teenager and he has nothing he has no money so this is like his first i guess you would call it a father-son project i would assume shut up so if anybody has any ideas for sponsorships or they just want to donate parts we that they have, have if, they, if somebody Dad's has it, I don't know. What's that? It's spoiler, that's 10 horsepower. Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, the badges are five each. But I will say, I will say I'm really proud of him. Um, considering the fact that he bought his first car with his own money and this, and you know, some of you guys, some of you guys down in the comments might complain and might be like oh that thing's a piece of junk why would you why would you let him buy something like Life that you should have bought him a brand new freaking corvette z06 or something it's, it's not about that guys it's about responsibility and, and knowing responsibility and um for him to have something like this that he can work on himself and learn the quirks and the ins and outs and everything uh, <laughs> of it the battery jump box and the battery's dead too the the but for him to know the quirks and the ins and outs of a car that needs repairs is a good lesson to be learned as a first car buyer in my opinion my car was a piece of junk and i did a lot to it um and i learned a lot from it so i'm, I'm really proud of him that he's doing this like this is this is his baby you know what i mean it's my, it's my shark all right we gotta turn the battery jump box on here is it in neutral it's in neutral guys did guys it's in neutral did you shake it it's in neutral <laughs> It does not have exhaust on it. The exhaust was cut off. The guy does have the exhaust, so we'll be giving it to us. But it's loud as hell. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it actually does run pretty decent, to be honest. It doesn't shake or anything, but unfortunately, she does get hot. Where's the temperature at right now? Yeah, it's pretty low. It's low right now. Should I give it yeah, some? Yeah, there is heat coming out. Though. Should I give it some room? Nah, don't give it no room. You don't want no room? Oh, I guess. Give it a little bit of room. A little bit more room. <laughs> a little bit more room. Alright, that's enough of room. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it definitely is probably going to need an engine. Which, like I said, is not that big of a deal. Yeah, you can shut her off. <laughs> yeah, buying an engine for this car is not going to be a big deal. Plenty of time to get this thing sorted out. If we need to put an engine in it, we can put an engine in it on a weekend, me and him. Yeah. Maybe we'll even make a video about it if you guys want to make a, to make content, a video. Car. What's that? It's a new content car. New content, yeah. Yeah, new content car. But we'll probably make videos of this car periodically if you guys are interested in it. And having him repair things and put headlights in and whatever you know a new bumper whatever the case may be the final plan for this car eventually once it's tip-top shape running perfect and doing what it's supposed to be doing the main goal i think is to wrap it maybe, maybe. he wants to do a crazy wrap i want to do a I'm crazy wrap sure on yet he's gonna have to convince me i think a good i think a nice nice colored wrap on this thing it'll save you a paint job and it'll be a nice colored wrap on this thing yeah but your colors get eccentric cool. don't they they do, don't they? 
Oh, and by the way, we're calling this the Sharky. That, the Sharky? It's going to be the Sharky. Really? That's the name. Wow. It's a Tiburon. I call it a clapped out ship box. It's the Sharky. That's what I call it. <laughs> it's my Sharky. Well, guys, there you have it. The very first car for my boy that he bought himself. I hope you guys are proud of him just like I am. Yeah. Like, it's, it's nice to have mommy and daddy money sometimes, but when you don't have mommy and daddy money and you have your own money, you get a, a better sense of um, gratitude when you put your own money towards Definitely. something and buy your own stuff and, and you don't have mommy and daddy supporting you and shit. So, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out all the other social media I got and uh, hopefully you guys will be seeing more Tiburon, more Sharky, Sharky videos. Sharky videos. With Zach working on this piece of junk. Deuces, guys. <laughs>